everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cicely. I would really appreciate it if you could like, comment, and subscribe. Today's video is gonna be a very fun video. It is going to be my life through Google Photos. Basically what I'm gonna be doing is Googling my name in the interweb, seeing what comes up and just kind of explaining the backstory behind it because I think it'll be a really fun way to kind of get to know me, my life, who I am, my friends, whatever. So if you hear barking in the background, that's my dog. Hi B. So let's get started. So I just went to images. This is kind of what you see when you first log in. There's actually not that many, which there used to be a lot more embarrassing ones. So this first one, this is my YouTube profile picture. I really like this photo. Zoo actually took it in our Ludlow Street apartment. So it's very special to me because we no longer live there. Those sunglasses are vintage Versace sunglasses I found at a thrift store. My hair was really freaky blonde. We all decided to move to New York City summer, August of 2020. It was really fun because we had just been cooped up with our parents for like a year. It was just this whole new feeling of freedom that we hadn't felt in such a long time, being able to move into this apartment together. And it was so, so fun. I don't know. I just thought it was like funky, freaky. Can't really tell who I am, but you kind of can, which is what I like to do with my profile photos. I don't like to just like take pictures of my face and of some places. <laughs> Love that photo, very special. Next one. Oh, this one. This is G, my sister, Isa, and I. We would go down to LA and visit G. And I remember we really wanted to go to that place, Lemonade. I remember when Lemonade was like really popping off and it was like super cool and Instagrammable and the place to go. We went to Lemonade and I remember sitting outside, I got mac and cheese and a lemonade. My eyebrows were so skinny. I had braces. And that's how I got these beautiful teeth. I was going through this moment. This photo is really funny. I think I said it was my sister because I was really embarrassed of it. I think it's actually me. I'm not positive. My sister and I looked identical when we were younger. Anyway, I took this on photo booth on my mom's MacBook with a really cool effect. I had on like fake Ray-Bans that I had purchased in Japan and had a really cool pose. So I'm not like embarrassed of it anymore. There it is on the internet forever. This next photo, I don't like this one at all. This is G and then her co-star, I think her name is Francesca, and I at this party in Los Angeles. I think it was somebody's birthday party. I remember there were like pictures of us gaming. Oh, here they actually are. I don't look good. I think it was like an 80s party. It was themed, which is why we're dressed like this. I went all over creation, all over Los Angeles that day trying to find an outfit. The gray top at Wasteland, the little corduroy skirt at Brandy Melville. My vans, put my hair up, G did my makeup, and our parents, her parents dropped us off. That was very cute, it was a fun party. The next photo, um, this is G and I. This was for my eighth grade graduation. I thrifted that dress. I popped on my pearls, I had my braces, straightened my hair, and I said, this is it. This was in front of a wall in my living room. My mom went through a phase where she painted every single wall orange in my house. This was one of them, so. This photo was, oh, this is on my digital archives. This is like my senior thesis that I made for school. Anyways, this is my contact photo. But this is also kind of a clip from my how to make a bouquet video. Zoo and I worked very hard on it and I'm just like, I like the colors of this photo. I like the cheetah, the pink, the bouquet. I think it really represents me well. Next. My dog wanted to say hi. I have a Depop account, if you guys didn't know. I was selling a pair of black aviator Ray-Bans apparently. This one actually underneath is so funny. This is Zoo and we used fish eye lens. This day was so fun. This is also kind of when we moved into our Ludlow Street apartment. I had so many clothes and so Zoo and I decided to sell them. We took all the pictures and then we sat on her balcony and just like goofed around and made up the funniest captions ever. I'll try to find a really funny caption. I was selling this bag with these little ceramic things on it and I said amazing genuine leather Japanese brand purse with ceramic baby doll heads attached. I never imagined I would write that sentence out. I've named them Hansel and Gretel, but you can rename them if you choose to take on this bag. So many freaking compliments on this and I literally stalked someone around a store for 45 minutes until she let it go. Hashtag bag, hashtag vintage. So if you want to follow me on Depop, you can. I'm selling one pair of sunglasses right now. They're Chanel. But this photo makes me really happy. Next. I'm gonna go up here because 
Ow! Wait, no, I did not in my coffee place. Jesus, the poor girl. So I clicked on this alternative thing at the top, football, and it brought me to some other iconic photos which I would like to share with you all. This one I took and I guess I posted it on Twitter. I had a lot of fake Twitters created for me. I don't know why people did it, but they did it. I remember taking this photo. I was in my Uggs and my true religion jeans. I was at a museum, I think, and I thought it looked really cool. I thought I was the hottest shit ever. That went on Instagram and I guess Twitter too. This photo was also from that 80s party night. I thought this was the best photo to ever exist of me. I teased up my hair a little bit to make it look like I really had a wild night out, but I was home by nine, so. This one, I actually really like this photo. This is my sister and I on Halloween night. I think I was a junior in high school and she was a senior and it was at our friend Oceana's house who was having a party. There was blue lights and my friend took this photo and I really like it. I think my sister was like a 50s girl and I was Gwen Stefani. I wanna see like these. I don't know what these different tabs are up here. And then I really wanna end with like an iconic one. So let me try to find it. I think this is the most iconic one we can end with. This was an I Love Sicily fan account Twitter. I don't know why I have fan accounts, but anyways. This was taken on a hike after middle school. My friend Layla lived on campus and we went swimming and then we both got dressed because we decided we were gonna have a photo shoot and I am wearing her Lululemon yoga pants, which I thought were the coolest things ever because they had the really thick band with all the different fabrics, as you can see. And I couldn't afford Lululemon at the time. They were very coveted in my middle school. Everybody who was cool had a pair of Lululemon leggings and I did not. I was also in my Uggs and I took a string and I wrapped it around my head and made a bow. And then I said, Layla, take my phone and take this picture. And I jumped off the hill and I went like this. And I duck faced it. So that's probably the most iconic photo of me on the internet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me going through pictures of me on the internet and giving a little backstory. It's really fun to go down memory lane. Be careful what you put on the internet because like we saw today, it'll be there forever, even these photos. So if you liked today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.